A Vancouver Island skateboarder has set his sights on representing Canada at the Tokyo Olympics. The sport will make its highly anticipated debut once the games finally get underway. CTV's Andrew Garland reports. Chase Sandiford honed his craft of street skateboarding here at Isvel Skate Park in Cork. Right after school, I'd go there until dark with my friends and just practice all day. He owns this place for sure, yeah, this is his park. The Comox Valley native recently made Team Canada's national team and now is one step closer in competing in the Summer Olympic Games' first ever skateboarding event. This is so amazing to see how it's transition to like an official sport in the Olympics that's being accepted by the whole world now. It's pretty amazing, a uh, hometown hero. The 23-year-old got introduced to the sport at a very young age. And my dad used to skateboard and I kind of see him just like pushing around and thought it looked really cool. He saw uh, uh, interest in, in the board. And when Shea started competing and winning events, his dad Fumi wanted him to be able to practice year-round. So he built this in their backyard. In winter here, it rains a lot, so he can't skate. I didn't really have a place to train, so he built me a ramp under a big roof so I could just skate all year round. In fact, Shay's parents started using the covered half pipe after he moved to Vancouver, then Los Angeles, to train. I spent a lot of uh, time and effort and money to, to build this, so I started skating. But just started using the ramp this year because of, of COVID. Also due to COVID, it's unclear when qualifying events will take place to see if Shea and other hopefuls will make the Olympic team. It's really possible for someone from a place as small as the Valley to make it on the worldwide scale. Of the 12 skaters on the national team, only four are expected to be selected. Andy Garland, CTV News, Courtney.